Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is a very quick, short and sweet general reading for the first week of June. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. And let's see what is coming on here for you. If you like a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box down below. We do have the card of letting go and illusions. These two both came for Taurus. I believe they both came for Taurus. Um, so if there is a connection between you and Taurus, I would say um, maybe check out that reading. Letting go. So learning to let go and embracing the truth. So what are we letting go of, Aquarius? Sometimes we let go of old belief systems. A relationship that you thought it was going to be one way and it turned out to be something else. Or the illusion of the way um, it's in fantasy, right? So when the card of illusion shows up, it's when we're not seeing things with clarity and not seeing things with truth. And this card shows up to just remind you of that. So you want to let go of the fantasy of the story that you keep telling yourself. The letting go card with the butterflies is the card of transformation. Sometimes we have to leave, you know, the egoic mind. And sometimes we get stuck in unhealthy habits and unhealthy relationships, unrewarding jobs and so on. You name it. And, you know, it is now saying and even unrealized dreams, you know, what it craves and this card is coming up and it's just saying, you know what, it's time for you to find your freedom and the way to find your freedom is to come out of the illusion, come out of the fantasy of whatever you thought the things that you were hanging on to were serving you. So it's now asking you to let go of that illusion means just having a false perception of something or someone that is not real. And when you are allowing yourself to see the truth of something now when you see things with truth now you can move forward with confidence by letting things go huge message here let's see here with um and at the bottom of the deck i have animal bond i just to show you that says so a stand up for all animals so some of you can have you know a love also for animals as well i know i do um let's see the cards that want to come out we have paul the venetian so experiencing grace and this says, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you is one card here. And then we do have the card of Kuan Yin at the bottom of the deck. Care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offering a helping hand. So again, yeah, a lot of letting go. A lot of having a place of having compassion for one's journey and for other for um, whatever that has deceived you or whatever that has clouded your mind, it's time for you to really experience grace and come into this place of love and um, and harmony with whatever that has happened during your life. You know, Kuan Yin, she's a goddess of compassion. And I love um, Kuan Yin because she brings such beautiful care and love. You know, everything is done with love. Let's go to Paul the Venetian. And let's see what Paul the Venetian story is. And it says here, Paul the Venetian is said to be ascended master from Paolo Veronis, a famous artist of the Italian Renaissance. So from Italy. And then let's see, humanity brushing his lifelong wisdom. Whatever creative ideas you're having at this time, they're inspired by the divine. Paul the Venetian is here to help you channel your gifts. You have... You may have felt blocked or held back in the past, but now it's time to recognize how talented you really are and follow your bliss and share your grace. Your creativity is a gift to the world. And as you share it with all those around you, you make space in your heart for goodness to enter. Recognize your gifts today and express. Wow, that is absolutely, so having compassion and care for your own. You know, some of you have may been very hard on yourself and not feeling that you're good enough or that you're not doing things in a beautiful way or that you don't have any gifts and you don't have any talents and seeing that other people do. So maybe you're coming out of that illusion and having more compassionate with yourself and recognizing that, you know what, you're letting go of the old belief systems in regards to yourself. Now, whether this is in regards to creativity, job, whatever that is, so letting go of the illusions that are holding you back. So the story that you've been telling yourself about yourself, about your work, about your heart, whatever that this is for you, right? Here we go. Look at that. We have the card of the tower in reverse. So that's fear of letting go. Fear of the old foundation. Fear of the old belief system. Fear of the way that we've been doing things. Fear of that letting go. But it's asking you like lightning. Like all of a sudden wake up and allow that to turn. Okay. And I did want to put all the rest back because that was the card that was facing. And I'm going to pull one for um, embracing grace. 
So the tower is asking you, you know, that foundation that you're hanging on to is no longer safe. This is no longer safe for you. Come out of that illusion, you know, whatever that you've been taught. It's asking you to come out of that. And then look at this. Yeah, it's because it's blocking your happiness. That foundation is no longer. We have the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Emotions and Ten of Emotions. So whatever that you were taught with family, you're to let it go. It's no longer your foundation. It is not your belief system. You're to move on and move forward. This is taking a risk. This is a, taking a chance on your own creativity, on your own authenticity, on you. This is you believing in you with the chariot is having that intent to move forward. Because the Ace of Cups is loving yourself, um, deep emotional diving in when it comes to your roots, when it comes to the roots of family. So there's a breakthrough here. There's some kind of breakthrough, some kind of block. So experiencing that, having care and compassion for all involved, you know. So it is really about having that beautiful first cup of love within yourself and then experiencing it with the family or then having that. So this is just saying, you know. Just have that beautiful care that you do for others and then you can help others, right? So it says, choose to be loved, do what is right for everyone. So again, you know, this is, everyone has their own their own way of doing things. You don't, you're not here to do things in the same way for everybody. Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups, did you leave your own family behind? Did you leave your own desires behind? Did you think that yours wasn't going to happen? Did you think it was just going to be like your family? There's so many questions, but it's time for you to move forward and it's time for you to believe in yourself and your own dreams and your own desires is the chariot. Chariot says, you know, so some of you may want to leave an old family. Some of you may want to divorce. Some of you may want to move on. This could be many things and coming out of that illusion too. This is about forward movement. So either you're moving into healthier, happier in regards to your family and coming out of the illusion that is better on the other side or you're actually seeing that you know what, that you're done with this experience here and it's time for you now to move forward into your own happiness, whatever that is for you and then um h i j k <laughs> sorry habit so let's go um into kuan yin and i just want to i'm going to pq really quick to kuan yin and it says first of all the keepers of light want to acknowledge all the service and commitment you have offered to others and we clearly see that to family and to other people so now saying you are all love, if you're finding it difficult with anyone at the moment, your best way you can move forward, we see it with the chariot, is to go beyond wanting to understand why or how they are the way they are. Wow. Just move beyond their behavior. And we see that completely. Okay. Um, their behavior, mistakes, and challenges. This card brings a message of friendship and care, helping you see that those those around you do have their best intentions, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Move into compassion and develop a greater vulnerability. This will elevate your spirit, spirit and connection to love. This is, wow, this is insane. Go back and listen to that one more time because I know I talk fast. <laughs> okay, so we have the card of fairies. So this is in regards to having magic, having mystery back into your life, going outdoors, really go outdoors. And yeah, one more time, go outdoors, go for a bike ride, you know, exercise, you know, um, really look at how you're feeling and release and let go. And this is, again, you're moving on, moving on from other people's trauma, other people's drama. And this is just moving past things, you know, just really going forward, moving past things. That was absolutely beautiful. Let's grab a door and then a chakra card. Let's see what door is showing up here for Aquarius. Let's see Aquarius. And we have 1111. Wow. Oh my God. It says numbers and double synchronicities and two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. So whether this is, you know, meeting your counterpart, 1111 is a twin flame, or it's also the gateway, the portal that is opening to a higher understanding. It's time for you to really awaken from the family's way of teachings and for you to raise your vibration is another message here. And coming into union is another message. And the close, we are closing you out with, you are part of the universe and always will be. Yes, we're all connected. Sending you much love, much light. Until next time. Namaste.